I know that it's not my place to have to tell you tell you how to act, but please, when you watch this video and afterwards, please do not act in a hateful or hurtful manner towards any of these people involved. That is not the intention of this. The intention of this is to, once again, for some reason, I have to share some facts because people are saying otherwise. My name is Daniel, and I genuinely really don't want to have to make this video, but I feel like I have to. For those that don't know, I'm a, an amateur triathlete, I've been an amateur triathlete for about 10 years and I've had this YouTube channel for 5 or 6 years on which I've documented my triathlon journey, my weight loss journey, the events I go to, the training sessions I go, go to, the people I meet, I for the most part absolutely love doing it and to hear cool things that people enjoy it really makes it all worthwhile. I don't do it for a business, I do it for the, just the, the love of doing it and hopefully growing the sport of swim, sport of swim bike and run. A few days ago, uh, the podcast platform Pro Chai News posted a podcast in which they talked about lots of things, but one of the things they spoke about were uh, uh, people that buy Instagram followers aren't cool, and they went to talk on to describe somebody who they said had bought Instagram followers, and they described me so accurately, in fact, that people had messaged me saying, this podcast is talking about you. When I listened to it, I was absolutely heartbroken. I, I don't know if I need to say this or not, but I've genuinely never bought an Instagram follower or a, f a like or a view or whatever. They went on to tar YouTube with the same brush. And hearing that, I can't explain how hurtful it is when somebody's talking about you and something you've worked hard on for years. And they're almost just like questioning your credibility and your integrity. And it's just, I didn't think it was on. So in the same way that they made those claims, I put the video out to the audience that follow me and I'm so, so grateful for the, for the support that I received, but I, they, they basically lodged a copyright strike on that video. Now since then, um, the communications I've had from them have been sparse. I've seen, and again, I don't want to get too attacking because I, I, I'm not about trying to them say they're in the wrong. I've just wanted to share with the triathlon world that what they've said is not actually true. So, um, I, don't, in fact, I will say to you, uh, India Lee has messaged me and I haven't opened it because to be honest, you can probably tell, this is quite upsetting and I've not really wanted to engage with them. But I hear that she's apologised, but I haven't seen him. Mark Matthews, I've had no messages from him other than some Instagram story, which is being very clear that he's not apologising. I've seen messages from him to, the, him to the people saying that he's not, it's not an apology and he's not incorrect and all of that. And that's fine, if those are his views, that's fine, but that's clear what his stance is. I've had two messages from Kyle Glass. Again, I've not read because I've, I work a full-time job. I'm trying to swim, bike and run. I don't have time or mental capacity for all this. It's absolutely training me. It's been a roller coaster week and not one that I want to repeat. So what has actually happened? Well, Mark Matthews has lodged a copyright strike against my channel. Now, what does that mean? Now, I've only had to do one of those in the past. If somebody takes your content and posts it as their own, you are entitled to, in some circumstances, to lodge a copyright claim. When you lodge that, there are two options. One of them is you give the person seven days to take down the content and they don't get what's called a copyright strike. The other one is that they get YouTube to remove it and they do receive a copyright strike. Now when I did this previously, I gave that person seven days because I thought it's fair enough, they need to be notified about it and given time to take it down. I don't want their channel to receive a copyright strike. What is a copyright strike? Well, a copyright strike is, I don't really 100% know to be honest, but I do know that if you have three of them and they don't come off your channel ever, if you get three, your channel gets deleted. Now when this copyright strike came through, YouTube have deleted the video and I received a copyright strike. So he has chosen the option to say, I definitely get a copyright strike. Now if I get, as I said, I've got three of those, my channel will get deleted. Now I have no intentions on using anybody else's footage in, in videos and I don't do that anyway until this point. But the fact that you do something that, that is a sole purpose to try and or work towards getting my channel deleted. Absolutely. Well, it doesn't infuriate me. It really upsets me, as you can probably tell. I've worked on this for five or six years. Over 1,300 videos. I'm not looking for a pat, pat on the back. I'm just absolutely bewildered why they do this to somebody else in the triathlon community who is doing triathlon for one and creating content with the aim of increasing the amount of people that are doing swim, bike, run for another. I just... I can't understand it. And I just... They've said what they've said, and yes, I put it on a video, and yes, they probably don't like it, but they've said it. I haven't said it. I just came, said the factual response. So all I'm saying here is, please don't be nasty. They've taken the video down, because if I didn't say this now, and the video's been taken down, it looks like I've retracted what I've said, or I've done something wrong, doesn't it? It's absolutely ridiculous. So 
I honestly, I don't enjoy this sort of thing. I want to get back to my normal, normal life, normal triathlon, normal. That's it, basically. I don't know what else to say.